Well, hello everybody and welcome to week two of our July online program for uh, all you alumni from the Sunshine Coast Health Center. And uh, this month's theme is on spirituality. Actually, the theme is on what is spirituality. So again, I'm thinking about that. As I mentioned last week, uh, Dr. Ken Hart and I are writing a chapter on spirituality and addiction for this new textbook. So even we're trying to figure out what spirituality is. But I was thinking, uh, if you remember when you were here, we made this big point about being true to yourself, right? And it reminded me of something we did over a year ago in the alumni online program, a little piece on uh, Joseph Campbell. Joseph Campbell is an expert in mythology and very famous series of interviews between Joseph Campbell and Bill Moyers of PBS. Uh, as I mentioned on the uh, written portion of the online program, you could, I'm sure you can find this in your local library. Or you can cut some bucks, you can go order it online first. Anyway, here's an excerpt from this, uh, this thing Joseph Campbell is talking about. So he's having uh, this interview. So Joseph Campbell's talking to Bill Moyers, and Bill Moyers is talking about Joseph, you know, you there's great geniuses, you've written all this book. Uh, what's the secret of life? And Joseph Campbell answers him in three words. He says, follow your bliss. And so Bill Moyer thinks this is kind of interesting. So he, he starts asking, what does that mean? So this is Joseph Campbell's reply. And he says, if you follow your bliss, you put yourself on a kind of track that has been there all the while waiting for you. And the life that you ought to be living is the one that you are living. Wherever you are, if you are following your bliss, you are enjoying that refreshment, that life within you all the time. <clears throat> I thought that may be a good definition of spirituality too. Because Joseph Campbell talks about these hidden hands. When you're following your bliss, when you're on this path, that the path that you ought to be on is the one you're on, all sorts of magical things start happening. And they start happen happening because when you're on this path, people start appearing who are also on that path. Now to you, they look like they're coming out of nowhere, but in fact, they've been there all along. That's one of Joseph Campbell's big thing. But he says the feeling, the feeling you get is the belief that someone is helping you along, right? Because all of these, these people start appearing just at the right time. They start opening up opportunities for you. And he's very big on this feeling that you get. Okay? And I'm thinking maybe that's what spirituality is about. And I'm wondering too if any of you have ever had this feeling. This feeling like things are on a roll in recovery and things are just working out. In fact, I met one of the uh, alumni just uh, last night in the grocery store. And he's telling me he's got about uh, just over a year clean. He said he had a a little bit of a tough time for the first eight months, but he says now th things are going so smoothly that it's starting to scare him. Right? But I'm thinking maybe he's just figuring out what his bliss is and he's on the road to it. And he says things are just, it's amazing. Uh, these things are just appearing out of nowhere, the right person at the right time, and life is just getting better and better. So I'm thinking maybe that's what spiritu spirituality might be about. In other words, they are not so much connecting with some kind of greater reality, but they're following their bliss. And because they're being true to themselves, because they're living the life that they choose to live, that all the other people who are on that path are starting to appear. All right, something to think about. And as usual, uh, you can fill out the uh, online stuff and send it in, and we'll see you next week.